Hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Kenshi and the Life of Jeff. Now you may be thinking, why are you over here? Were you not like, by this location? Yes I was. <laughs> so just to quickly explain, I actually was trying to do some stuff to an episodes and I kind of discovered, oh my god, there's big things everywhere. Uh, going south any further was a mistake. <laughs> uh, I did try, I did try everybody, but the enemies got tougher and tougher and like a basic enemy was like 50 skill stats and currently we're at 9. Yeah, so <laughs> either I could choose just to run around like a headless chicken trying to survive in a place I shouldn't be, or I can go back north and try and get myself some more experience and stuff. So I decide the latter option, and we're going to go back towards the main area of the game, which is probably this part of the map, I would say. But anyway, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be heading back north. We may set up like a little base or something just to get like a nice location we can head back to to camp and stuff. Who are these people? Grass pirates. Don't want to fight those. No, thank you. Uh, and also, we could probably level up quite a bit by just going to bars and fighting cannibals and, like, Holy Order units. I think we can probably make a lot of experience worth probably doing that. So, we'll see what happens. I'm already on my way back, though. I started the video a little bit after, uh, just so we didn't actually have to watch me walk all the way from here to, like, here. <laughs> it would have been a bit too much. But I think from this point onwards on the map, we should be able to find enemies we can actually win in against in combat. So, it should be fine. I also heard, apparently, if you take over Beak Thing's eggs, it gives you a lot of money. But I I don't think we can... There's, there's some eggs right there. Can we actually do this, though? Oh, look at the baby Beak Thing! It's still terrifying. Sleeping on ground. Movement speed, 24 miles per hour. 30, 32. That seems pretty fast to me. How fast are you, Jeff? 15. Ah. <laughs> is anybody actually remotely fast? No, they're not. Okay, well, I feel like with that revelation, we probably are not going to go and try and attack Beat Things Nest. It sounds like a terrible idea. I was hoping I can just run in there, attack, uh, nick one, leg it, but it probably won't work out very well. Okay, let's head back towards this way. Now, we are back in desert again, so hopefully we'll start seeing some, like, starving vagrants. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Hopefully we see people that are starving. Yes, good job, me. <laughs> Great thing. Good sentence to say out there. You know what I mean, though. Hopefully we can see some people that we can actually win against in combat. I'm not going to stay by here. Uh, let's go... Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. We want to head back in this direction. What's that noise? That's a bit creepy. i got to say, though, so far I've only seen beak things. Is there nothing else in the game? <laughs> the beak things have killed everybody. No one else is actually alive anymore. It's a big disaster. What is this? Oh, it's a pile of trash. Okay, great. <laughs> It must be really weird living in a universe where everything's like, you've lost all your technology. Yeah, I think it's pretty crazy, but... Ooh, what's that? Is that... a lair of dogs? There's no way we can win against them. Oh, one of them died! Oh no, is it, they're just sleeping on a dead guy, a bounty hunter. Oh, I think... <laughs> hmm... I don't think they're having a good time over there, everybody. But, but oh no! Guys, that's not a good idea. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they made a mistake, everybody. They've made a mistake. How fast are dogs, by the way? 14 miles per hour. I got this, I got this, I got this. I got this, everybody, I got this. Move in, guys, move in. Chase me. So what we're going to do, if you can't already sell, we're going to run these dogs away very... They are so slow. Is this a normal speed of a dog? 40 miles... How fast is Bone? 12 miles per hour. Why are they so slow? <laughs> I'm a bit concerned, everybody. Anyway, as we're doing this, we're just going to keep uh, Benny Hilling. Ooh, ooh. Of course, if they do actually catch him, he's going to die horribly. Uh, everybody... Yes! <laughs> the wolves are stupid, everybody. Oh no, the puppy! The puppy's actually a genius. It knows. It knows. Don't worry, guys. We'll save you. Your armor's too heavy, though, so we need to take it off you first before we can save you. Uh, keep going. Wall. Keep going. I wish there was a button you can press that just made them run around. Uh, to, like, stay out of rain. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bad game. Wait, who's this? Was I carrying somebody at the start of the... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's have a look, shall we? So this actually just counts as me flat out making money here because it's not actually faction equipment. It's just equipment. Is this another one of those swords? Oh my god. Oh. <clears throat> now before I do this action. Unconscious. Unconscious. 
unconscious. Good for me. Good for me. Okay. I'm taking your equipment, sir. Uh, this is amazing. Thank you. Committing Prime. Who's going to report me, game? That's what I was thinking. Okay, so... I kind of want to not let these people die at the same time. So we might pick them up and we'll loot them on the way over. So we pick all these people up. Oh, it's Towns just kidnapping. We'll save them from the dogs. You actually don't run towards them all. That's a stupid idea. We're saving them from the dogs. We'll loot them. And then we'll just leave them in like a safe place. Uh, wait, is there a safe place in this game? No. We'll leave them somewhere that we'll heal them first. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, pick them up. Run, 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 run. You got them? Wait, why are we not picking up this last person? Is it me? Okay, let's get the hell out of here, everybody. Run away bravely. We're going to go this way. We cannot run them, right? I think we can. Oh, we're so fast, everybody. We are the fastest lads in all the land. We did it! Okay, so before anything goes wrong, uh, because I think if they wake up and they're aware of what I'm doing, they're going to count as me stealing from that stuff. So, uh, who was the guy? This guy's about to wake up. Okay, quickly. Uh, oh, look at all this high-grade equipment. Oh, my God. Oh, they have so much stuff. We're taking everything. We're taking it all. We're taking it all. This has been... I've got my money back, everybody. This is great. Blackened chainmail. Oh, my. And he's got... Oh, my God. We're so set up. This is amazing. And they won't even know what happened. For as far as they're concerned, I've rescued these people. No room for that item. What do you mean? How dare you say this to me? That's actually like, oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, um, cool. Have we actually escaped the dogs, by the way? It looks like we have. Okay, let's go over here quickly. We're gonna put them down. We're, we're heal them up. We're let them go on their way. If anything, I'm a savior. I save them. Who's this person? Is that a person? A sand ninja, and he's by himself. That's a good target, I think, at some point. Anyway, uh, so let's quickly make Izumi put down some beds. So we can heal these people up. I don't think they'll be hostile. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll have to see. If they're hostile, well, damn it, everybody. But at least they haven't got any weapons to try and kill me. We're going to camp here for a little bit. We're going to heal these people up. Let them go on their merry way. And we'll move on with our lives afterwards. Guys, come back, guys. Come back. All good. Okay, put them down. Uh, who actually has people we need to heal here? Hey, Ridley. See, I want to be a nice person, you know? I want to be a nice person. Oh. You take take him away? What do you mean? I haven't done anything. I was trying to help you. Is it because like, they saw me? I think this. I put this person down. I was carrying her friends. It looked like I was kidnapping them. Awkward. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Put her back in bed. Put her back in bed. I will help them. What is it like when after you carry people? Not that bad. Not that bad. Okay, Izumi, can you heal these people for me, please? Why do they disappear when I... <laughs> Don't worry about it, everybody. I will save you. What is going on with the game, everybody? I've broken it. The game is broken. Okay, do you reckon they're still going to be hostile when they wake up? Everybody, I actually decided to quit people off camera because it took me a little bit of time. I was like, people don't want me to just watch me click through menus for like 5-10 minutes. It wasn't that fun. So, <laughs> I went through that quite quickly. Also, I may have forgotten to give Hamut a good shirt here. And also, I don't know when this happened. Um, for some reason, Hobbs hasn't got a weapon anymore. I don't know how long that's been a thing. Uh, Hobbs, where is your weapon, sir? I have no idea. But it's okay, we can give him one. We can just give him... Um, one of Jeff's sabers. He's got like 10 of them these days. It's not a problem. I'd rather they had a weapon than nothing. Because otherwise it would be a disaster. But anyway. Let's carry on shall we? We're going to head up north to the... What is it? The village of Heng. I say village. It's not really a village. I like how she's just abandoned her friends. What a nice person. What a, what a great person. <laughs> also I have to point out by the way. I know it's the feature in the game. I, I do. I'm aware of it. But I still think it's pretty cool. You can see like the, uh, the six packs of people that are really muscly. I mean that's pretty awesome. I mean, like, does she have one as well? I guess she does. Show me your six-pack. It's very important. 
Never mind. I can't really tell from the angle. But okay, I presume you do have one. Jeff, do you have a six pack? Oh, look at his eyes. Don't, don't, Jeff, don't worry. Don't worry, Jeff. I won't make you take your clothes off. You can keep your dignity for now. Unless you don't get stronger, Jeff, then I will expose you to the world. Anyway, moving on. So, we're going to go over this way. Uh, Heng is there, I think. So, let's keep on our way. Someone's died over there, clearly. There's been a horrible situation. And here. <laughs> that's just a wolf, that's fine. Who died here? Wolf, wolf, wolf. Apparently the skimmer just killed everybody, which is good for the skimmer, I guess, but not so much for everybody else. So what I've done with the uh, equipment, by the way, just people can keep track if they want to. Let's quickly uh, tell them to run towards the city, and I'll just show people. So I kind of try to balance out where people have... There are, like, bits of armor that, of course, give you more armor. Um, but I kind of, like, try to keep it so people were very, like, protected. And also didn't lose too many stats. Because that's quite important, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, so everyone should be around the same speed. Though I didn't really realize until later anyway. That um, the kind of a problem is going to be that we have a dog. And the dog only goes at 12 miles per hour. So regardless of how slow everybody is. The dog is the slowest person in the party. So <laughs> I may actually consider just carrying them. But then I'm kind of concerned if I carry the dog. It will probably never up, level up to get faster. So I'm not sure what to think about that. And also, I don't click at RTD2. <laughs> How fast are you, RTD2? 90 miles per hour. Go! Oh, there's a dog there. I didn't even see that. It's like a surprise dog. Wait, just to check, though. This dog goes 14 miles per hour. Why are dogs so slow? How fast do dogs go in real life? Wait. I need to... Wait, God, I'm sorry, everybody. This is very unprofessional of me. How fast do dogs run? Uh, apparently, they run 15 to 20 miles per hour. Pretty handy. So all these dogs are slow, everybody. <laughs> this dog breed is not fast enough for my liking. It should be at least 20 miles per hour in my opinion, but whatever, it's fine. Okay. Wait. So I guess humans can't be much faster than dogs. So why is wool? Why can wool go like 27 miles per hour? I guess wool is actually not a dog. He's actually, or a human. <laughs> He's a drone. I guess it's quite different. Who are these people? Starving vagrants. Perfect. Hello there. Alright, so what are we having? They're doomed. We must get everyone to level up. Nice. It's kind of weird there's only three starving vagrants, so normally there's like a big squad of them, but it's okay, I get more spirits. Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay, has everyone healed up? I think. Yes. Okay, let's go. So we can at least hand off this random person I picked up at the start of the video to get some more experience and whatnot. There's another dog over there. The game currently seems as obsessed with dogs. It's got like a it's like dog day. Kenji's <laughs> International Dog Day. It will spawn dogs everywhere. Free traders. This guy's actually got a name. Is he like a unique fella? Hello. Um not really, but he is selling authentic skeleton repair kits. I'll take one of them. So I think the one we currently have is about to run out, so at least we have a backup for R2-D2. Wait, take this. There you go. Oh, this one stacks! Oh. I think the other ones don't stack because... It's because I stole them. <laughs> oh. I'm going to need to do a contraband check before I can let you through, Drifter. That's fine. You look clean. How are these guards this... It, look, everything I have is stolen. <laughs> like, everything. I put The only thing I'm not... That's not a soul, and there's this really terrible long coat. I mean, like, sir, sir, uh, to be fair, though, how would they know it's stolen in the first place? Let's be honest here. How would they physically know it's been stolen in this day and age? I could be, I could have bought it myself years ago. Yeah, I don't know. Hello. Uh, before I do this, how are we doing with the old factions? 23. So I think if we need, like, an extra, um, it'd be two a level, right? So another three bounties and we can actually get ourselves maybe an alliance or like a happy relations with the united cities right, let's just go and sell some stuff i think Hobbs should be the katana dude if i recall so we need to make sure we buy a katana for uh hops i should just do that right now shall i um oh you can get a nodachi it's very expensive but i'm gonna do it <laughs> how can i turn down give it getting one of those it's absolutely it's like my favorite joy Stupid anime sword. I know it's not an anime sword, everybody. Calm down. I'm just saying. It's a very large sword. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous. 
Uh, let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh, we're gonna make. We're making so much money. We're not actually, by the way, but I'm just gonna say it just to make me feel better. Okay, Hobbs, you are going to be de you are going to be christened with the Nalachi. Yes, you will be able to slay horses with this. It's going to be beautiful. We've just got quite a lot of money left behind as well. So, wait, where is your weapon, Hobbs? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so, I also feel like I want to try and get myself, um, what do we want? Probably food, I imagine, because it looks like we ran out of food up here. Uh, and also, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm fine with that. Do they, where do I buy things for belts, by the way? I've not, I have found belt things in the past, but it seems very rare you actually find stuff for the belts. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But also, this is Spain. I don't think I actually show people. They probably already know anyway, but just in case they don't. This is what you need to find. I'll go back inside. This is what you need to find to repair skeletons if they got, like, permanent damage. Oh, it's told you right here. It can only be fixed at a skeleton bed, which is one of these. And it costs 2,000 pounds to do so, so screw that. That's not happening anytime soon. Uh, cool. Perfect. Let's carry on going, shall we? Oh, wait. Uh, I do want to go to a bar. I want to check for some kind of... Oh, there's a clothes shop there. Food. We need food, everybody. We need food. Uh, let's just buy all the bread they have. I think it'll probably be fine. So I, kinda, I didn't realize that I ran out. Because I was like, everyone's starting to get a bit low on the hunger there. I didn't realize we completely ran out of food. Uh, before we leave, is there anyone we can talk to here? I don't think we should recruit anybody else until later. Uh, people want me to recruit Beep, so we'll do that at one point. I don't know where he is, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> but he can be our ninth member, and he can use... Was it the blunt weapon? I can't remember what weapon it was, but it's one I'm not using at the moment. So, what now? We're going to go this way. I kind of want to try and go like to this region where it might be slightly harder and less windy. So I want to look for a place we can maybe make a camp. Not like a proper base, but like a little base like campy kind of thing where we can just go and store stuff every once in a while just you know just have a good time maybe grow some stuff you know maybe make some cool weapons because of course i think the easiest way of getting good weapons in the game is to make them yourself so but i don't really want to do it in the desert because the desert is just disgustingly windy <laughs> there's just effects of weather all the time i've had there but also wait a second i don't think i can go out of the desert really because safe hunters that's fine we're gonna kill them Yes, I look like a slave, don't I? Look at me, Jeff. The most slavish looking guy in the entire world. Let's see what they say. Look at me. Wait, do some like twerking or something, Jeff. Yeah, here they come, here they come. I say we found ourselves another load of escaped slaves. Would you really mess with this group of people? I mean, look at this guy. He's terrifying. <laughs> and also, we are vastly more equipped than these guys. It's your funeral. Okay, it, they're dead. Good job, Hub. <laughs> Good job. Uh, also, I kind of forgot that RTC was stuck in block mode from earlier. So let's get him back with his heavy attack weapons. Sucks to be you, buddy. Uh oh. I like how people just take damage through each other. <laughs> Don't question it, everybody. Don't question it. I wonder in the new game if they try and like use technology they used in... Um... Nah, it probably wouldn't be as good. I do like the animations in this. I think they're really cool. But I also like it if it was a bit like more cinematic. Maybe like Total War. Thinking, wait, Total War's animations are just hitboxes. I'm going back in time, everybody. Go back in time and look at uh, Total War Shogun 2. That game had the coolest combat animations known to man. Now they're just basic hitbox stuff again. Well, unless you're just a monster. But I don't know why you degraded that. It's a bit weird, but what, are you okay? <laughs> what are you doing? But they kind of degraded a lot of the animations. If you go and look at a duel in Shogun 2, it's absolutely amazing. If they had that in this game, it would be um, epic. But anyway, moving on. Uh, so it'd be kind of hard to, to probably simulate how it would work, though, with winning or losing. Skim sounds. I presume there's going to be a lot of skimmers here. <laughs> don't ask me why I have this feeling. I just know it in my bones. I discovered Tengu's what? What? I need to. I need to. Tengu, isn't that the leader of the United Cities? Or am I wrong there? I think it might be. Holy Sentinel. Oh no. So, what I was about to say before I started talking about nonsense, uh, which I normally do, uh, I'm pretty sure the Holy Nation is extremely racist. No, 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 they're not racist, are they? No, are they? 
I'm going to say they are anyway, just because I can. But also, I'm pretty sure they are against skeletons. Why would you hate RCD2? I'm pretty sure if I run over right now with this skeleton, they're going to just attack him because he's not a human. Uh, where did they go? We never know. <laughs> it's gone. Is this actually like a base or something? Who is, wait. Oh, it's guarded. It's guarded. I kind of want to see if I can go inside or would they... I feel like oh, this is not a place they would let me go into. Should we... Jeff. Wait, no, let's not send Jeff. Let's somebody send somebody a little less... Let's just send this guy. Hello! Oh. Okay. We're leaving. I I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Please. Uh, forgive me. No, I'm, I'm leaving! I'm leaving. Oh my god, they're terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I should go that way. Uh, it's kind of bad, everybody. Anyway, moving on. So there is a skimmer in the skimmer sands, which is, as you probably would expect. I kind of want to, it's kind of a bit too sandy for me still to so consider making a little camp here at some point. There's the Holy Nation. I knew they are around here somewhere. So they, their army is a little bit interesting. they got like a few like high level guys. I think they're kind of maybe similar to the United Cities, but most of them kind of suck everybody. I mean, look, this guy at the front probably is a badass. I mean, he doesn't look very strong, but he's got some pretty good skills. He's pretty good at his job. Uh, this guy behind him, also pretty good at his job. This guy is just walking trash, everybody. I mean, not only has he got a porn star ma um, mustache and some anime hair, he also has, like, worse skills than Jeff. And that's an insult, because Jeff's terrible at his job. But, anyway. Manhunters. I kind of... Oh, that's a big squad of skimmers over there. That was a big squad. It's kind of the same for most people, though. Most people kind of suck at fighting still, but we're still early in this territory, so... There is a lot of skimmers here. I kind, I kind of am um, understanding the name a little bit more now. There seems to be a lot of them. Is this where acid rain starts all the time? I'm going to... With the, sh the blackness... I'm going to presume this is where the acid rain starts a lot. <gasps> There's a bounty. Don't, don't spook him. Don't spook him. Do not spook him, guys. Do not spook him. Hi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? How do you do that? Get him, dog. Get him. That's what I thought. Okay, we probably should leave because I can sense that we're probably about to die from this horrific amounts of skimmers. Uh, let's leave. Okay, we've got another bounty. Okay, let's try and go... Uh, go back, maybe. This is clearly not a good place for a base because the amount of skimmers is a bit... Um, if I was going to rent it out, it probably wouldn't even get any hits or anything. Maybe let's go this way. Like I said, most of this area is way too sandy for me anyway. I do kind of want to make... Maybe we'll go north and go along the uh, coast and see if there's like, a nice place we can make like a beach hotel base. But we can't go this way. This is where the Holy Nation lives. We'll die if we go that way. So it would be a bit of a disaster. Well, I guess we can go around it, but not directly through the main entrance because we'd just be murdered. So... Oh! There is a stupid amount of skimmers here. What if I can like gather like a horde of like 20 of them and just run them into that Tengu place and then just... What's happening over here? Is this it? A camp? Blood Raiders? Why are there Blood Raiders here? They followed me from the south. <laughs> run away! I'm kind of scared because I know there was skimmers everywhere. What if they're just in the sands? see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm trying to get back to this place, by the way. In fact, there was just a dude there. <gasps> Another bounty! <laughs> Hello there. It's a nice hat you have there. Oh, he's attacking me. That's interesting. Uh, everybody, murder, please. Wow, you weren't expecting to get hit that many times. No matter how good you are, you're, it's a 1v8, my friend. You don't really have much of a chance here. Unless you hit three of us in the same time. I like how walls just kick him in the leg. <laughs> He's like, take this! <laughs> Slap him with the body, man. 
Is this guy healed, by the way? Oh, he's dying. We probably should do deal with that in a second. This guy is doing a pretty good job here. He's kind of lucky because he's not taking damage in one location. He's taking damage everywhere. There you go, we got him. Uh, Izumi, can you please heal this guy before he dies? No, don't pick him up. Heal him. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, who wants, who wants to carry... Who's the next fastest runner? I'm 21 miles per hour, 17... I will do it. I will carry the ninja. Cool. Uh, let's see. So we get some of these. Standard grade ninja rags. Has anyone, everyone got at least standard grade these days? Kind of. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we'll take it anyway. <laughs> I can sell that for a profit. It's totally fine. I can also sell this split clip, uh, kit, which for some reason sells for more money than like a med first aid kit, but it's fine. Are you done? I don't think you're done, Izumi. You're still healing. I think she's probably healing this guy that's nearly dead. There you go. Of course, if your bounty dies, you only get half the value. And also, I, I, I lose a little bit of my um, happiness. So it's very important not to let that happen. Done! Okay. Now, if we find one more lucky contender in the desert on the way back to one of these cities, we probably get 30 relations with the United Cities. So, it is ridiculous. Can I just also add, by the way, I also installed the Reduce Weather Effect mod. Um, it's not working out very well. As you can kind of see, it's extremely windy. <laughs> is this a place we can... Oh, what's over here? i got to be careful, because as we pick up more and more people I'm carrying, we're going to get slower and slower. Uh, there's a skimmer. This looks like it should be a fun time. Let's go and see what's over here. You never know, there might be a notorious bounty man inside. Let's go this way. Where did that skimmer go? Wait, 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 wait. Where did that skimmer go? Well, I can't see him directly in front of me. Is he skimming in the sand? What is happened over here? What is going on, everybody? We can go inside? What is this? That looks like it should be in the ocean. Oh my god, imagine like falling into that. Can we make a lance out of that or something? That'd be pretty cool. Okay, who wants to go and inspect inside this location? Oh, sand ninjas. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. We may try and take that person down at some point. A £20,000 bounty. How many do you reckon are inside though? Oh, there's more than one. There's a second one. 4000 This is a place if you want to go and have a good time, everybody. I can see it right here. Spine Canyon. Is it because there's these weird sea urchin things? Oh, go through. Go through. Apparently we can't go this way, everybody. It's not allowed. No, 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 get, just, just jump down or something. Okay, fine. Fine. Go around. Where am I even going anyway? I am trying to get back to this place, by the way. <laughs> I'm not just randomly going in this direction. I am trying to get somewhere. This is not going very well for me. It is because of these spiky things. It'd be pretty hard to see people with all this clutter. The clutter is great. Oh, that's better. This scent reminds me of her. What? Butter. Okay, there's some starving vagrants over there. I don't know if we can actually win a battle against them uh, with while carrying. I don't want to put these people down because I don't want to risk losing them. So we're, it's this way. There we go. We're keeping our... We head back. We'll see if we can get... How did you spot me? They're so far away. The hell? That was a bit scary. Apparently it was the most, the keenest uh, skimmer we've ever seen in our entire lives. I kind of sad I couldn't find a third bounty. Um, maybe we might get lucky at the end, you never know. Just one more. And then we will maybe be friendly with the United Cities. I'm pretty sure you can tell because I think it like hovers over like green when you look at them. Uh, I'm not happy about the skimmer's movement speed towards me at the moment. Go through, go through, go through, go through. 
Nah, it got me, it got me, it got me. Help me, Garu! <laughs> That's fine, we, we escaped. Okay, we made it. That was a very uh, roundabout way of getting here, but it's okay. Wait, are they self-domesticating again? <laughs> Just running inside. It's like a... I, I say this, this would never happen, but then of course... Doesn't this happen in Spain where they just have like, they let the balls out and they just run through the cities for some reason? I don't know about that because of Jackass, because they, they got beaten up by the cows and the bulls and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, let's see. Hello. This person has a very sad life, I can already tell. He's just staring at this wall. You thought watching paint dry was boring. This guy is watching wood decay. Do you know how long it takes for wood to decay? Because I don't. Does it even decay? I guess it would eventually, but who really knows? Uh, let's see. Hello. Let's wait for it to come back. I have another one. And now we're rich. <laughs> Happy days. Cool. So in terms of equipment though, I think we're doing pretty well, if I say so myself. We got some pretty good weapons. Everyone's got a weapon that's not like just completely rusted. Oh, we can sell stuff. I forgot about that. Uh, let's also buy more food while we're here as well. As I always say, uh, food for the food gods. So, ah, there you are. I'm not a new buyer. I've bought bread a few last time I was here. I know it's not going to be stacked. Wow, that's a bit ridiculous. It's fine. <laughs> We like bread over here. Maybe we should let Izmi stack the bread. Like, you forget that she's the only person with a uh, stackable. She can just carry it all. It's fine. Let's not burden Jeff with all the bread. If I was... If, if this was me in real life and I was asked to carry the food, it would go missing everybody. I'm not going to lie. Um, it would just... Where's the food car? But, oh, I don't know. I'm storing it internally. Yes. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's gone. You'll never see it again. Okay, let's see. Uh, hello. I do kind of want one of these super bows. In fact, this is a high quality old bow. And I got a shoddy quality, but I got a Mark II. That's a Mark One. Have I said this on a video before? I don't know if I have. For some reason, when I was younger, um, I, I used to think it wasn't Mark. I used to think it was Milk. And I used to call it Milk 2. I don't know why I thought it was Milk. I never understand why. Um, basically, I was a weirdo. That's what. Maybe I was obsessed with food. It goes back to my earlier statement about carrying food. Everything I look at relates to some kind of beverage or food. It's a big problem, everybody. But moving on. There's three beds here. I didn't even know that was... Okay, that's annoying me now. Whatever. We're moving on. So anyway, I got... I think before we go... On our northern adventure, I want to capture at least one more bounty, which we'll see if it gives us the 30, the friendly relations with the United Cities. And if it does, then we'll leave. If it doesn't, we'll leave. And we're going to go on an adventure towards this part of the map. And maybe we'll make a base somewhere as well. Uh, is that a gigantic squad of rebel farmers? There'll definitely be some kind of bounty there, but there's a bit too many for me to deal with. Ah. <gasps> ah. Double bounty. It's like a double rainbow, but it actually makes you money. Double rainbow. Hello there. Don't mind us, friends. We're here to say hello. Oh. Wait, did you attack your friend as well? I know you hate him, but buddy, calm down a little bit. I like how powerful Wool is. Look at his... He literally is a wall now. He is a master of Kung Fu. Look at, wait, do a kick. He's, he's shy, sorry. I kind of scared him a little bit there. He'll do a kick eventually, or not. It's fine. Done. Okay. Uh, capture them both. I think we've definitely guaranteed that we're going to get over 30 relations here. I'm not going to heal them. I'm just going to run back because uh, I don't want to spend too much time on that. How much does it cost these days to make a little house? Five building materials. We're also stuck up, on, stuck up on that as well, so we can carry five building materials. And then we can make a house <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. We'll probably make a house wherever I end up the video. It'd just be like, ah, here's a perfect place. <laughs> Am I being attacked? Oh, I'm sorry, it was a Hobbs. I thought Hobbs was trying to kill me for some reason. Don't ask me why. 
Um, I'm seeing a lack of that side of the are. Hello. They're not friends with me. The comments lied. They said it was 30 relationships. Damn it. Well, while we're waiting, I'll quickly Google. Uh, what relations are required for ally in Kenshi? There's a thing over the top of it. 50 relations. That makes way more sense, everybody. Um, we don't have that. <laughs> we'll do it one day. It's fine. I'm just going to move on then. I don't want to stay here anyway. You guys suck. Okay. So, as I discussed before, we are going to make ourselves a house somewhere. I don't really care where. It's probably not going to be a permanent base. It's a place we can just do stuff in. I guess we're also probably going to need a research bench, which means we need an additional three building materials for a total of eight. Uh, if I go over here, I presume this will sell me some kind of materials. Hello! I do need something. I need building materials. Ah, I probably should give this to Izumi. But she's currently got loads of random stuff in her inventory. Maybe one, two, three, four, we just don't worry about it. And we just do this. <laughs> Perfect. Is that eight? Uh, yes, that should be eight. Is there anything else we need? I guess we probably need a mu uh, enough for a stone mine. And also... Oh, you need iron plates for a stone processor? That kind of sucks. So we need iron plates, six iron plates, and three building materials as well. They're all hand done, so we don't worry about... Um, power yet, at any rate. Okay, so that was that, right? <laughs> Let's hope so. And <laughs> uh, what was it, eight iron plates? I think that's correct. If it's not correct, we can cry later, everybody. We'll figure it out later. Let's go! And off we go, everybody. We have the materials required to make ourselves a home. And starving slave hunters, damn it. I guess we can fight these guys, because they're pretty easy to win against, and we get free experience. Hello! Do the other people not care? I was going to say. <laughs> Just completely ignoring them. Go, Jeff! And also, I kind of like want to go to the Holy Nation, because I really don't like them, and they have a lot of slaves. I know, I know, I know, so does the United Cities, but... I kind of can fight against, like, a cult religion and also against slaves at the same time. So I think it'd be more interesting for me. And also, I think this place is, like, one of the high-end shops you can go to. So it'd be cool to go over there. And we get to see cool creatures on the way, which I know what's over this direction. So... Are we going to heal? I guess we are healing. Cool. Let's go! Don't mind me! <laughs> we just murdered some random people. Question is, though... Can we get over there in, what would it be, 39 minutes? It'd be, yeah, 11 minutes. Probably not, but we're going to give it our best shot. Probably the first thing I would probably say is going in the right direction, though. So if we just turn around and go the correct way, which is where they're going. So the mountain range, everybody. We probably want to curl left, uh, south and then upwards, because if we go, like, directly this way, probably get killed by cannibals. And also, we can't really run into any Holy Nation people because they're going to murder me uh, with poor R2-D2 being discriminated against. Um, that's what I never understand about discrimination. If you let people into your nation, they will then pay taxes and you get richer. I do not understand that mentality. <laughs> Clearly not a capitalist or anything. They're stupid. They could be making money off people instead of dis uh, discriminating against them. Okay. The problem is, though, if we do make a base somewhere, it's probably going to be somewhere we can also get supplies as well. Uh, that, that, I say that, actually. That'd be fine, because if we have a stone processor, a mine, and a shack, we can pretty much make any, well, materials we need when it comes to vagrants. <gasps> yeah, we can pretty much make infinite basic materials, the building materials you need. You need to find a way of getting iron plates. I guess you can just go, like, every once in a while to get more stuff. Um, but we'll have to see. Normally, I make my bases around here. But I, I'm going to play somewhere else. I normally make a base, like, here or something. But Hello. Just going to let these people fight in rapid fashion. We need the experience. 
Good job, everybody. Jeff's getting a lot better as well. We will be actually a normal fighter at some point in our lives soon. Okay, so we're kind of leaving desert now. This is going to be a whole new land. Avoid that. Okay, so I think from around, well, from now on, we would actually be able to run into Holy Nation people, so we've got to keep an eye out for. Who are these people? Blood Raiders. I thought Blood Raiders men live in the south, but maybe I'm wrong there. Regardless, they will absolutely murder us, so we want to avoid that. We're going to go this way. We've got to keep an eye, everybody. Eagle Eye. They could be anywhere. That's the slice of samurais over there. It's not a problem. Bass. I wonder if we can see a... Uh, ooh. Discovered watchtower. Where'd you find that? Oh, it's in front of us, apparently. Ooh, I kind of want to go and have a look, everybody. Let's go and have a little... What is up with the graphics, by the way? <laughs> Don't worry about it, everybody. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Problem with abandoned watchtowers is it may just be a murder hole. Um, is it locked? It's not locked. Who is the fastest person now with all the stuff we're carrying? 19. It's Wool. You have been chosen, Wool. Oh, wait. there's a ho It's a Holy Nation place. Nope. No, thank you. Come back, Wool. It's too dangerous. There's disgusting Holy Nation people and such. Should we just go and see? I'm going to do a save scum thing if we die. I just want to see. No, wait. wait, wait, wait. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I just want to see how many people are inside. I guess it might be quite a lot looking at this. So there's one there. They won't really catch you anyway. And should just in case, can you guys go a little bit further away? <laughs> just go over there. Just in case. Just in case. Hello. I don't like you either, sir. Have a nice day. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. That's not working out for me. Uh, we're leaving. Have a nice day, sir. I said I'm leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> we have to get out of here. We will definitely take the fight to those people as soon as we can, though. Who are these people? Hungry bandits. Is this... They're not... They're like the... They're leveled up version of star, uh, starving vagrants. We let them pass, though. I think we're a little bit worse aware of our HP at the moment, so I'd rather find a place we can get to first. I'm missing some dialogue, and I'm par I apologize. I, they kind of started without me even seeing the start of it, so. Okay, so if you go this way, you have to. You're pretty much in their territory now, I think, if you go that way. Um, but the problem with this direction going into their nation from this way is that they got loads of, like, big. Like, guard tower. There's a massive fortress here. There's, I think there's a fortress here. And, like, there's, like, places they, like, monitor to go inside. So we're going to take the mountain path around and we're going to seek in through the back. I wonder if we can kind of, like, duck into these farms. I really want to find a certain creature here, but I can't see one yet. So you'll definitely know when it's here. It's quite obvious. Interesting. This place kind of sucks. <laughs> At least there's a nice group of beds you can sit by. Where are they? Go north a little bit. Maybe they're by the coastline. This is where it's a little bit more dangerous again because I might get attacked <laughs> and the clutter might distract me. What is that? That looks terrifying. <laughs> I don't want to mess with that, whatever that is. Ooh, vibrant trees. I mean, this place would be that bad to live by. Uh, but of course, it's near the cannibal territory, so you may just get murdered. Tech hunters, cool. Have they moved them? There used to be some like interesting creatures around here, but they seem to have vanished. Maybe. There's a group of dogs down there. Discovered a village. Ah, oh, I'm not going to say what I was looking for, but it's not here, so that's kind of sad. We'll find one one day. It'll be fine. 
Is this a friendly village or like a... I can't tell from here. Let's get a bit closer. I'm going to say it's a... It's got shops on it. It's a friendly village. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. What nation is this? Dead Cats. I guess it's like a neutral faction. That's not like a major one. This is quite a nice place though. Smell my fish. <laughs> fish is even great for skeletons. It's that omega-3 oil, right? It helps uh, soothe their joints. Okay, let's see. So there is a, a bar here. Let's have a look. I guess we can get a lot of recruits if we need to. What? Excuse me? My hair is beautiful. But you can't really see my hair, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay, let's go to the bar. Anybody interesting here? Welcome. Hello. They're just selling fish. To be fair, fish seems a lot more um, efficient when it comes to its storage space, but it's fine. Really, these people online. I swear I didn't see a shop there. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I didn't think that would be a shop. It's just a little shack. Don't mind us. We're coming in. <laughs> Cool, this place sells materials a building, which could be handy at some point. A bandana? Awesome. Um, interesting. So if we make a base around here, we can just go and talk to this guy to get materials and stuff, which is pretty cool. Keep that in mind, everybody. Keep that in mind. Oh, let's keep going. It's a nice, friendly village. I'm not actually sure what is over here. I think it was more cannibals again, but I don't quote me on that everyone, everybody. There seems to be some kind of like app here. With just random crossbows. What? <laughs> what is happening here, everybody? This must still be cannibal territory. Oh, it is. Ba -ba -da -bum. It's the cannibals. There's a lot of them, as you can tell. Uh, these guys will probably murder me if I go near them, so we'll probably want to avoid that. But I like how there's like a random camp here in case you have, um, you're like under attack. You'll be like, oh, quickly get to the the turret place. We can shoot them with the turrets. I think that's what they're doing anyway. Are they coming to attack this village? Who are you? Skeletons. Hello. Hello. Uh, they're pretty good, but we can probably win. Okay, as much as I want to maybe fight you two, I'm a bit concerned about that. Uh, let's move up. Boats and ninjas. I think these guys may be not hostile. I think they're cool. I think they're chill. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm not drawing that battle in. If you lose a member at any point to a cannibal if you're fighting they just pick them up and run away if they got a free guy so but they won't they won't eat these guys surely they're skeletons no oh no we're gonna watch this we're not gonna fight we're just gonna watch the devastation wonder who will win i mean like worst case scenario like they may kill no they, they won okay never mind i wanted to try and loot these tech uh skeletons but never mind they're really good though. They they did survive there. They did a good job. Good job, guys. You guys did a great job. Interesting. What happens if I killed one randomly? Would they like be happy? I don't think he cares, but okay. <laughs> I was just trying to be friendly, man. Anyway, moving on. So we are still in cannibal country, everybody, so we've got to keep that in mind. Uh, there also seems to be cannibal hunters, which is awkward because they, they completely missed that giant squad of cannibals that came down the hill. The hidden forests. Yeah, very foresty. I can I can see the forest from here. Hmm. It's a bit suspicious. This is ghost village. Can we live here? There must be a reason there's no one here, though, surely. We can... 
could we live here? Can I take over this base? Oh, I can't take this place over. Uh, let's be very careful. Let's be very, very careful. Hello? There's just stuff everywhere, just laying around, doing nothing. Hmm. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Hmm. I presume this is a place that was wiped out by cannibals at some point. Or maybe there's something ever another reason. I'm gonna look everywhere just in case there's like a hidden enemy in like a building or something. Empress actually, interesting. Hmm. Well, it seems okay. <laughs> We're leaving here, it's fine. Okay, let's go this way. So where is... Where are the cannibals coming from? Cannibal planes. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> Maybe the cannibals live here as well. This maybe is not the best place for a back base. They're talking about cannibals, it's fine. Oh, there's a building over here as well. Oh, someone's inside. I saw that. Flutes and ninjas. Are they hostile? <laughs> I don't know. Hi. Nice day we're having out here. They seem chill. They seem chill. It's fine. Let's go and talk to one. Wait, I thought for a second his name was Jeff, but I'm Jeff. Sorry. Okay. Hello. Uh, what is this place? Cannibal Station. My job's keeping the painted tribes contained so they don't overrun our main camp. Leave them uncheck their breed like swamp raptors and then make, make the planes their own buffet. Okay. Uh, who are you? Floodsome Second Command. Defense Captain Manny reporting for duty. I'm an ex-cannibal hunter, made it my life mission to track cannibals ever since I escaped prison 10 years ago. My comrades, though, they weren't so lucky. I'm somewhat of an expert on them now, though. I don't know they- I know how they breathe, like me. How they move, like a human. How they feed, like a human, but with cannibals. And I also suggest that you don't uh, delve far past this outpost if you want to live, traveler. Uh, thank you for the info. Okay, cool. Uh, this is like a cannibal destruction thing. Saying, "Oh, I can see him over there." And also, there's bird thing, beak things. So screw that location. So I guess south of here is okay. Just don't go this way. <laughs> I think that's what's happening here. That's, that's what they're trying to tell us. Don't go that way. Still though, with the whole hidden forest thing, I'm still not really seeing it. Seeing it, to be honest. Cannibal hunters. Let's go and talk to them. These guys shouldn't be hostile. hostile. They're cannibal hunters. They're friends. Oh, I forgot you can tell them that you've been attacked by cannibals and they would follow you, I think, to try and help you. Uh, yeah, you can also say like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this. I want revenge. Don't we all? Oh, they, they, you're kind of higher than that. Okay, never mind. I don't need your help. I can help myself. I want to explore this area. I've never been... I don't think I've been this, this to here before. I kind of want to see what's over there. And I'm less afraid of cannibals than the other guys we were at the south of the map because they're not as fast as everyone else. They're only at level 20, so... Is this another floatsome group? It's, it is. Ooh. Uh, hi! I'm sorry, my sister, but I can't let you leave this place alive without knowing who you are. And where you came from. This is private land. What are you doing here? Um, uh, uh, oh. I'm a traveler seeking rest and supplies. Swear to me. Swear to Oaken and the Phoenix life that you are no more than a traveler. 
that you have not been sent here by the Holy Nation. I like how she swears by Okrin. Um, but she's also against the Holy Nation. Okrin is no god of mine. Ah, that would be. That's fine. <laughs> I'll be watching you closely while you're in my neck of the forest, got it? So where, where are we? Where are we? Uh, the less you know, the better. Forgive me if I'm not overly talkative about strange men. Excuse me? I'm a woman. Look at my eyes. I am, isn't he? Also, you could be talking to R2-D2, which is just neither. But anyway. We're done talking here. I kind of want to find the main camp. Also, what is happening over here? There are just weird robots floating in the sky. Wait, is that a cooking utensil? Are they floating chefs? If you die, do they float down and make a meal out of you? I think now what? Uh, clearly, I've discovered the secret there. That's clearly what it is. So I guess, like I so said, th these forts made like a bo like a boundary where the, I guess the cannibals have to go through to get to this part of the map. I guess that means somewhere around here is a village of the f uh, the ninjas. Like I want to find said village. I think it might be this way. There. Now that is a well hidden village. Okay, I can see this must be their village, surely. It's literally in the middle of a canyon in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> uh, ninjas. Yeah, I we found it. We found it. Let's have a quick look. Hi. How's it going? Nice server we're having out here. Okay, good talk. I guess I can just come in. Cool, they're not trying to kill me. I was worried they might try and kill me. <laughs> it happens more often than you would think. Uh, is this like the main base of the ninjas? I, I kind of want to see if we can talk to people. Let's go inside. Mole. Nowhere in this world is safe. People are either trying to burn us at the stake or they're trying to eat us alive. But at least the cannibals are good for one thing. Target practice. We have Jeff for that. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, ooh, ah. Target practice is all fun and games until you find yourself boiling in a cooking pot. Well, you're no fun, are you? I know, thank you. They try stuff stuffing me in a cooking pot and they're going to find out I bite back. Hard. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you are here in my space, so I guess you want something here. Huh? Ask away, I've got nothing better to do until my next target drops by anyway. Uh, can we... Can we join... The floats and ninjas? I want to be a ninja. Well, in a world of fire, happy religious zealots and flesh-eating nudists, we can't never have too many allies. Swear your allegiance to me and your defiance to the phoenix and I'll make sure my ninjas are always ready to protect you. Together we can take down a... <gasps> Oh, wait, what does this do? Can I come back to this at a later date? I don't know. I tell you what, everybody, we're going to reload and we're going to come back to this village at the start. And I'm going to research if this is a good idea or not. Clearly, though, if we join the folks and ninjas and we fight against the despicable holy nation, which is what I want to do anyway, it'd be pretty fun, right? So we will consider this next episode, everybody. Apart from that, I think this is going to be today's episode. Thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.